Some of the biggest names in artificial intelligence are raising the alarm about their own creations. In an open letter published Tuesday, more than 1,200 signatories called for a pause on state-of-the-art AI development. We call on all artificial intelligence labs to immediately pause for at least six months the training of AI systems more powerful than GPT-4. If such a pause cannot be enacted quickly, governments should step in and institute a moratorium. Powerful words from powerful people, some of the biggest names in AI raising the alarm in an open letter. Those who signed the letter include Elon Musk, who helped co-found GPT-4 maker OpenAI before breaking with the company in 2018, along with Apple co-founder Steve Wozniak and Skype co-founder Jan Tallinn. My collaborators and I are trying to understand the limitations of current AI, which is using machine learning and a lot of deep learning. Other signatories include foundational figures in artificial intelligence, like Yashua Bengio, who pioneered the AI approach known as deep learning. These are people who know artificial intelligence, and they're warning that society is not ready for the increasingly advanced systems that labs are racing to deploy. Former U.S. President Donald Trump getting tackled by riot gear-clad New York City police officers, Russian President Vladimir Putin in prison fits behind the bars of a concrete cell, Pope Francis in a stylish puffer jacket. The highly detailed sensational images have inundated Twitter and other platforms in recent days, but none are remotely real. The images produced using increasingly sophisticated and widely accessible image generators powered by artificial intelligence. Misinformation experts warn of a new reality, waves of fake photos and videos flooding social media after major news events and further muddying fact and fiction at critical times for society. So what is the worst possible outcome? There's like a set of very bad outcomes. One thing I'm particularly worried about is that these models uh, could be used for uh, large-scale disinformation. I am worried that these systems, now that they're getting better at writing computer code, could be used for offensive cyber attacks. Um, and we're trying to talk about this. I think society needs time to adapt. While the ability to manipulate photos and create fake images isn't new, AI image generator tools from Midjourney, Dolly, and others are easier to use. They can quickly generate realistic images complete with detailed backgrounds with little more than a simple text prompt from users. Risk analysts have identified AI as one of the largest threats facing humans today. The top risk report for 2023 called these technologies weapons of mass disruption and warned they will erode social trust, empower demagogues and authoritarians, and disrupt businesses and markets. I think there's a lot of new areas that are going to open up. I think that's part of the excitement of it, that this is pure science on a certain level that will lead to very tangible, very pragmatic discoveries. But as we go there, we have to be open to being surprised by what comes out along the way. Canada looking to address the potential harms caused by AI by bolstering legal framework. If passed, proposed privacy legislation, Bill C-27, would establish the Artificial Intelligence and Data Act, aimed at ensuring the ethical development and use of AI in the country. In the meantime, one strategy for discerning whether an image of a human was AI generated is to look at the hands and teeth. Models like Midjourney and Dolly have a hard time generating realistic-looking hands and can often get the number of teeth in a person's mouth wrong.